How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm going to bring you guys a quick VPN tutorial just to teach you guys a little bit of basics about VPNs and how to use them. So in terms of VPNs, there are plenty of VPNs out there in the market today. There's a quite a bit of an oversaturation in fact, so it might be a little bit difficult to choose uh, which one could be the best choice for you and your situation. And so I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best overall. They all vary in budgets and features so uh, pick and choose depending on your own preferences uh, specific needs what features you're looking for and your own budget of course so let's start with how you can just quickly download these vpns obviously you can just click any of the links in the description down below it'll take you to the pricing section of each of these vpns and you'll be able to claim a little bit of a discount so feel free to use that uh, and so once you do that, you can just subscribe to the VPN or you can download first and then go ahead and subscribe and use your credentials that you get. Or you can just simply subscribe, get that email, they'll send you an email and then you can use the link to download it from there and then log into your VPN client once you install it. And once you have the client, it'll look a little something like this. So you've got Express, Nord and Surfshark. As you can tell, each client has a bit of a different user interface and they all work very well, by the way, in terms of uh, privacy. You know, you'll be able to unblock streaming services. They have great security, a strict no locks policy. You can download files anonymously, whether it's peer to peer based files like torrents or just regular files and your ISP won't be able to tell. Uh, what you're doing online anymore okay so before using the vpn i mean it's pretty self-explanatory as you can tell you can just uh, turn on and off any of these uh, vpns and you'll connect um, let's say I want to connect ExpressVPN. It's as simple as just clicking the on button and we're good to go. But you want to understand a little bit more uh, about these VPNs and what features they have. And I'll teach you about the basic features and for everything else about these VPNs, you'll find them in the full reviews down below. So let's start with ExpressVPN. You've got VPN locations here, uh, over 3000 servers in 94 countries. And let's say you want to connect to the American server because you want to unblock Hulu or Disney Plus. Uh, so you want to go to the United States, pick one of these and um, simply just click and you'll have it right here. And you can either double click or click the on button and you'll connect to it. And uh, let's just go ahead and do that and just to demonstrate very quickly. And in order to double check that you're connected to that server, you can go to any IP finder and let's just refresh right here. I was just connected to Switzerland, so that's why it shows that. And now it says that I'm in Chicago because I'm connected to the Chicago server. It's as simple as that. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this off. Now you wanna understand a couple of things about the VPN. So first of all, you're gonna to go to options and you have the kill switch and split tunneling. And these are the two kind of main security features that you wanna look out for. The kill switch will kill your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. And this will make sure that you're only gonna be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel, which is a pretty good security feature um, that prevents any IP leaks so that your ISP can never know what you're doing online, even when when you get disconnected from the VPN. So split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So this can be a pretty useful feature. Let's say I don't want my entire connection to be using the VPN. I can just select specific applications to use the VPN while the rest of my connection is left outside the VPN tunnel or the other way around, of course, whatever you like. And then you have some protocols right here. And um, I like to use the fastest protocol, which is gonna be the lightweight UDP protocol in ExpressVPN's case, the NordLynx protocol with NordVPN and the WireGuard with Surfshark. And you can keep it on automatic and that'll work just fine. But for speed, um, you can just use lightweight UDP. Click OK. And now you can, well, connect to any server. Let's say you wanna unblock BBC iPlayer. You're gonna go to VPN locations. And just go to Europe. Here's the UK. And just connect to one of these. Let's go to the Midlands, for example. And either double click or just click the on button after you select it. Um, let's just go ahead and double click. And I'll be able to connect to the... Uh, VPN. And if I go to my IP finder and refresh, you'll notice that it will have a different IP address that belongs to the United Kingdom. It is as simple as that. So um, that's pretty much the basics of using a VPN. And you can apply the same method of using a VPN on NordVPN, for example. So uh, let's say you want to use NordVPN. Again, same thing. You can obviously have a list right here to drop it down, or you can just go through the map and look for your country. 
Um, it's very simple when it comes to using. Uh, so whatever it is that you like. Now, again, all these VPNs will vary in budgets and features and whatever it is that you're looking for out of your VPN. Maybe NordVPN has features that you want that ExpressVPN doesn't because ExpressVPN mainly focuses on utmost anonymity and privacy and just simplicity and ease of use. So you don't get anything besides the kill switch split tunneling and just a few protocols. Whereas with NordVPN, you get a whole bunch of bonus features that um, offer a whole lot of value for the price since NordVPN is very reasonably priced. You've got over 5,400 servers in 59 countries. You'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription, unlike ExpressVPN's five. And overall, it's just a great, well-rounded VPN. But if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost, then you can go with Surfshark with over 3,200 servers in 100 countries. And the cool thing about Surfshark is that you'll be able to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, making it a great option if you want to share your account with as many friends and family members as you would like. And again, you're not sacrificing on any of these security features. You get the ad blocker, the kill switch, some protocols, um, bypasser, which is the same as split tunneling, and speed tester, just like Express, and a couple of features that'll help you if you're in a censorship heavy country. And if you are in a censorship heavy country, I would just recommend that you go straight to Express. And uh, yeah, that'll be the best VPN for censorship heavy countries. But if you're interested in learning a little bit more about these VPNs with regards to the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below and you'll find links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to jump straight to that. Either way, they're all covered by a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk free. Otherwise, you can simply get yourself the refund. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.